Hi, my name is Sharon Gajewski. I'm an instructor here for the nursing program at UW-Green Bay, and I'm happy to talk with you about our program in nursing, application requirements, requirements for graduation, and so on. So we'll learn a little bit more about nursing and nursing education at UW-Green Bay. I'm going to share my screen, and we'll just go through a little bit about nursing now at UWGB. Um, the job outlook is wide open in nursing. It's one of the fastest growing occupations in the United States. Um, as it says on the slide, nursing is more than double the national average for other op uh, occupations as far as job openings. And we are in a nursing shortage and approaching even greater shortage. And right now, especially you're hearing a lot about it with the COVID pandemic, but um, even us outside of that, we are expecting a shortage in nursing with the growth of the pop older population, retirements, etc. Um, so what draws someone to nursing? Is nursing right for you as you're exploring different careers? Nursing might be for you if you're passionate about caring for others, caring for the health of others. I hear a lot of um, new nurses or nursing students say, I really enjoy the sciences. I really love taking care of people and working with people and helping others this is a career for you. I just mentioned if you enjoy the sciences, enjoy working in a fast paced environment. Nursing, I say two days are really never the same. There's so many different things that you can do in nursing. Um, it's just a wide open field and um, fast paced, thinking on your feet, a lot of variety, a lot of interaction um, with other people, patients, the other members of the healthcare team. And if you desire, to work in a variety of settings. It gives you a lot of flexibility as far as where you work, what, what type of nursing you practice. Um, as I mentioned on the previous screen, the demand for registers, registered nurses continues to grow. Um, it's one of the fastest growing up occupations. Another nice thing in nursing is you have a choice in, in a variety of different settings that you can work in different specialties. In a hospital, you can work uh, labor and delivery or nursery or medical or surgical or heart cardiac uh, oncology outpatient areas rehabilitation you can work in clinics community health settings schools um, so a lot of different places where nurses work there are nurses who work in different um, business settings as the, the occupational health nurse taking care of people at their work sites so why choose UWGB? Why earn your BSN? Your BSN is Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. Many hospitals require nurses to have a bachelor's degree upon hire, or if they don't have a bachelor's degree, to have it within three years of hire. And I'll just mention here, um, there are different levels of education for entry into practice or for taking the state board exam of nursing. Um, you can be, take that state board exam and begin your nursing career with a associate degree in nursing, which is a two year through the technical colleges or with a bachelor's degree in nursing. You take the same state board exam and are licensed as a registered nurse. However, most employers now are looking for nurses with that bachelor's degree. So many nurses who have the associate degree are have already been planning to go on or have now decided to go on and complete their bachelor's degree. So by attending UWGB's uh, BSN program, you'll earn that degree within that four to five year period. Bachelor's degree also um, prepares you for going on for graduate school. Some of you may have been thinking, oh, I'd love to be a nurse practitioner someday, or I'd like to be a nursing education, um, nurse anesthetist or nurse leader, nurse midwife. So those types of positions require an advanced degree, like a master of science in nursing or a doctor of nursing practice. Um, so the bachelor's degree will prepare you for that. And many of our graduates from our, our end of BSN program um, and now with our new program, the traditional BSN program have gone on for that, those graduate programs and are very, very well prepared for that. So as you're planning for this journey to college and um, nursing, what should you take in high school as you're preparing? Um, nursing is a very scientific discipline, so the sciences are an important foundation to nursing and you'll see it's important to take those sciences in high school and then you're required to take them as you begin your college career. So in high school, you want to have four years of English, um, at least three years of math, 
Sciences are very important, as I mentioned. So biology, chemistry, anatomy and physiology. Um, you could take physics. You could take if your uh, school offers an advanced biology or an advanced chemistry or even the AP course. If you take the AP exam, that would transfer in. Um, so those would be good options. The chemistry, just as far as AP exam, the chemistry that's required for our nursing program is a biochemistry course, so there is not an AP for that one, but biology there is. So just got off track a little bit, but other classes that are important in high school, spe a speech class is very important. You'll be doing a lot of interaction as a nurse um, and in your nursing program, well, such as Spanish, because we have a large Spanish speaking population in our area, um, history classes, some of those other things that are required in high school will also be require, required for college. We do not require a foreign language um, for our nursing program here at UW-Green Bay, but again, it is recommended. The nursing assistant course is highly recommended. The um, CNA course is certified nursing assistant. If it's offered in your high school, I highly encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity and do the course. It'll give you good exposure to a career, what a career in nursing is like, and also prepares you and is a requirement um, that you have that course done before taking nursing classes. At UWGB, we offer several different options for earning your bachelor's degree. Our traditional Bachelor of Science in Nursing or BSN program is the four year program that um, any student would take in preparation for becoming a nurse, taking that state board exam. The nurse one to one program is offered in cooperation with NWTC, Northeast Wisconsin Technical College here in Green Bay. So students in that program take their first year of classes here at UWGB, two years at NWTC, year two and three. And after that time at NWTC, they, they earn their associate degree in nursing and can take the state board exam. So after the third year of college, can take that state board and be licensed as a registered nurse. And then year four is back at UWGB to complete the upper level nursing for the bachelor's degree. And then we also offer a Bachelor of Science um, completion program or BSN completion program. And that one is for registered nurses who have an associate degree and now want to get their bachelor's degree. So today our focus will be on the first two, the traditional BSN program and the nurse one to one program. Um, this slide compares, talks a little bit about the two options for freshmen as far as nursing at UWGB. Um, the BSN traditional program, you'd start out, you'd be admitted as a freshman, you'd as a pre-nursing student. Um, and during your first year of college, you'll be completing sciences, general education that are required for nursing. For this program, you would then apply for admission to the nursing program, typically at the end of freshman year or during the spring semester of your freshman year. Um, and then you'd find out if you're admitted to nursing during that summer. Some students aren't able to apply till sophomore year, depending on um, requirements and prerequisite courses that you need, you need. So it's not uncommon to have the program take five years versus four, but most often it's a four year program, but can be up to five just um, with that. So that program, again, you're admitted to UWGB as a freshman and you apply for the nursing program after you have 30 credits complete and some of the other requirements that I'll talk about a little later. The nurse one to one program is the one with NWTC. Um, I talked about the year one, two, three, and then the fourth year back at UWGB. With this program, you apply for admission to UWGB. Um, encourage you to apply right away when applications open for the fall semester. So for fall 2021, students have already applied and are admitted to UWGB by applying in August or September. And then the, there's a second step where you would apply for admission to the nurse one to one program and that application opens right away in September and has to be complete by December and you would find out then January of your senior year if you're admitted to that nursing program. So with that program, you'll know before you graduate from high school um, if you've, you've been selected for that program. So a little bit more detail about the traditional BSN program eligibility requirements. Um, again, you're going to be 
completing some of your college courses, you need to have 30 credits complete, which is equivalent to one year of college if you take 15 credits each semester, um, a minimum GPA, college GPA of 3.0 on a 4.0 scale, three of the four required science courses complete, and I'll show a slide in a minute with which, which courses those are, but three of the four complete or in progress. You might be taking science classes in the spring or even in the summer after your freshman year, and that would still um, make you eligible for application to the nursing program. And then completion of the nursing assistant course is strongly desired. We don't require it until it has to be done before you take your first nursing class, um, but you could complete it, say, during the summer after you've been admitted to the nursing program. Again, we recommend that you do it earlier. And again, it's good exposure to learn more about nursing. Um, you have the opportunity to take the certification exam and you could work as a nursing assistant. Many of our nursing students have done that. The application process itself, um, you complete a, an application form, submit a personal essay, and it's there's question prompts that you will respond to in a video essay for that. The review, the committee reviews the applicants. It is a holistic review. So we look at science GPA, specifically your overall college GPA, um, any volunteer experience, community service, healthcare experiences, um, so it's, it's a holistic review in addition to the essay. I think some of this I might have mentioned already. So you would apply for admission to UW-Green Bay and you'll be notified right away when you're admitted to the university. Um, your major will be pre-nursing. Um, you'll have an advisor assigned to you who will assist you with registration when you come to orientation and registration, who will assist you with um, being on track with what you need for the nursing program. Um, then you would apply for admission to the nursing program, either freshman or sophomore year, depending on the requirements that you've completed. The application is typically open from March 1st through May 15th. So during the spring semester, say of your freshman year, you would complete that application. And as I said, it's okay if you have some of those science courses in progress at the time of application. Um, the committee reviews applications early summer, so they'll have your summer, your spring semester grades by then and um, make the decision on who is admitted by July. Again, it's a holistic review. You'd be notified in July of the year you applicate, apply whether or not you're admitted. And we admit 48 students um, to the nursing major each year. So once a year, we have this application cycle 48 students would be admitted, so you'd find out in the summer. Then in that fall semester following your admission, you're, you're in the nursing major, but you have that fall semester to take any remaining science courses, that fourth science course that you need, and no other non-nursing courses. And then in spring is when you take your first uh, nursing classes, your nursing clinicals, skills lab, and all of those things. We also offer a nurse scholar program, and this is for um, high academic achieving students may be eligible for this to be admitted as a nurse scholar. Um, typically, we look at students with an ACT of 28 or higher. We understand with the changes due to the COVID pandemic that not everyone is able to take the ACT exam, and the, our university doesn't require that you submit ACT scores. Um, because of that. And so what the committee will look at for nurse scholars is your GPA, high school GPA in your science and math courses will have a heavy weight in making that decision. Um, if you're interested or you think you might be eligible, again, you would apply, be admitted to UWGB, and then there will be, I think it's in January or February, it's opening, there will be an application form that you fill out to indicate you're interested in being considered for the nurse scholar program. Students accepted then will be directly admitted to the nursing program. And so you won't have to do that application at the end of your freshman or sophomore year. Um, you'd be notified uh, during the spring of your senior year of high school. So you would know um, right away whether or not you're in the nursing program as a scholar. Um, students admitted to the nurse scholar, again, take their pre-nursing classes freshman year. 
start nursing classes spring of sophomore year, but don't need to apply, but do need to maintain specific requirements to maintain that status as a nurse scholar. This slide shows a little bit about what are the requirements? What will I take in college for the BSN program? Heavy in the sciences. Again, I mentioned you need three of the four. The four sciences are shown on this slide. So students take biology, anatomy and physiology, a biochemistry course and microbiology. So you might take one science course, course in the fall, freshman year, one in the spring. You could take one in the summer to have that third one. You'd be eligible to apply during the spring if you're taking a science course in the summer or a lot of students do one in the fall and two science courses in the spring. Um, and then you could take that fourth one the following fall to have your four sciences. We do accept the AP biology. If you took AP biology in high school and take the exam, um, you could get credit for the biology course via AP. The chemistry, the AP chemistry does not satisfy the requirement as, because we need a biochemistry course for nursing. Other courses that you'll take as part of your preparation for nursing, a human development course, introduction to psychology, a nutrition class, a statistics class, um, and then the general requirements, general education requirements that all students at UWGB need to take, no matter the major. So you'll have to meet those as well. And you'll have an advisor who'll guide you through and help you with that. The Nurse 121 program is the collaborative program with NWTC that I mentioned. Um, it's designed to have a four year completion. The first year UWGB is general education and science courses. You'll have an assigned advisor at UWGB and then starting year two, you'll have an assigned advisor at NWTC. Um, your advisor from UWGB will still be in communication with that advisor, so they'll work to keep the whole progression through that program seamless for you. Um, general education requirements, it's pretty, it's more prescriptive with this program. There's specific classes that you need to complete and specific grades you need to get in the Nurse 121 in order to be prepared for the NWTC courses in year two and three. Um, you'd complete your associate degree year two and three, come back to us year four to do your upper level nursing classes. As far as the application for the Nurse 121 program, that one, that one occurs while you're in high school. So you will know if you've been selected as a Nurse 121 student before you graduate um, from high school. We admit 24 students to this program each year um, for the fall semester. You have to have a 3.0 GPA in high school, ACT composite of 22 with the um, subscores that are listed below. Again, we have a different plan this year because of the ACT test not being available due to COVID. Um, the committee will be looking specifically at science and math grades in high school, calculating a GPA for those grades, as well as your overall GPA in high school. They'll also do a holistic review. So other criteria would be any volunteer experience, community service type things, clubs and organizations that you might have been involved in during high school. Um, nursing assistant course is preferred, not required in order to be admitted, but it would be good to have. You do need to have it complete before you would start year two, before you start the nursing classes. So it would be best if you could do that during high school. Um, 15 or fewer university credits, that's post high school. And basically what that means is this program is designed for incoming freshmen, college freshmen, transfer students um, would not fit well into this curriculum. So if you have college credit in high school, maybe you have 18 college credits completed during high school or 15 or that's okay. In fact, that's good. So it's okay to have the college credit in high school. What we're referring to with that 15 is post high school. Um, applications for this one, so you'd apply to UWGB, like I said, in August or September. Once you're admitted, um, you would fill out a second brief application for the Nurse 121 program. That application deadline it shows on here is November 15th. It's been extended to December 15th. Um, the application for 121 is a separate application, and then you would be notified of your admission by January. Um, so January of your senior year, you would know whether or not you've been accepted to the Nurse 121 program. 
We do get questions sometimes, um, what if I apply to the nurse one to one program and I'm not selected as one of the 24, would I be able to apply to the traditional program? And yes, you can. So that's a nice option too, that if you weren't one of the 24 in that one to one group, and we do keep a wait list for that too, just so that you know, but you could take classes freshman year that would meet either requirements. So you could um, just go into the traditional program by applying to that at the end of freshman year. Another thing about the nurse one to one because of that unique agreement where you're attending NWTC for two years of your college career, know that you can live on campus here at UWGB all four years if you prefer. You would need transportation over to NWTC for those classes for the two years and to your clinicals. But I'll say that for the traditional BSN program too, in any nursing program where you have offsite clinicals, you're going to hospitals and nursing homes, clinics and other sites, you need transportation to get there. So that's not uncommon. There is a um, Green Bay City bus that runs between UWGB and NWTC also. Um, the NWTC has housing, they have apartment um, type housing right on their campus as well. So you could move over there or to off campus housing. So the, there are a lot of options. Um, with this program, you'll pay UWGB tuition while you're at UWGB. And then during the time you're taking classes at NWTC, which is years two and three, you would pay tuition there. Um, so the tuition is a little bit different than it would be if you were all four years at UWGB. Um, you will again come up end with your bachelor's degree after the four years in this program, just as with the traditional BSN program, the four year program entirely at UWGB and you'll have your bachelor's degree. Um, this last slide shows the RN to BSN completion program. I mentioned that we have three different BSN programs or paths to the BSN. And this one is the one that's for registered nurses. So if somebody you may know people who have gone to the technical college, for example, in Green Bay NWTC and earned an associate degree in nursing are working as a registered nurse, but need to get their bachelor's degree or desire or want to get their bachelor's degree. They can come to UWGB for this RN to BSN completion program. Um, this program is offered completely online, so it works well for nurses who are working or have families to complete complete their bachelor's degree. It really isn't applicable for incoming freshmen, but just wanted to share with you that this is another option that we do offer. If you have questions or you want to talk with an advisor, learn more about our nursing programs, um, don't hesitate to reach out. Our email is on this slide. If you email nursingadvising at uwgb.edu, someone will reply or get in touch with you, or you can call the number that's shown on this slide and again, someone will reach out to you and reply to that. So I thank you for joining us today to learn a little bit about nursing and hopefully we'll hear from you soon um, as you embark on your journey to your college education in nursing. So thank you again.